Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. The most requested design for today's video was the breakout. So today we've got 9 beautiful breakout designs for you to have a look at. We're doing 9 instead of the usual 10, just because I wasn't too happy with the 10th design so I decided to scrap it. But let's jump straight into design number 1 and that is the fire cat. Now most of the items in today's video are quite cheap, they're around 1k and under, so I'll only talk about the price of the items that go above that. Now the first item in the design is going to be the bobcat decal. I found an interesting combination with this, throwing on a furry paint finish, which I used to create an interesting fire effect on the decal. We're then going to want some fire wheels, so we're going with crimson pyros, and those on steam run for around 3 keys. For some of the accessories, we're adding in a crimson breakout, and while not essential, I do like the look of a pearlescent paint finish. For the boost, we've got the crimson thermal, and the final item is going to be the crimson tachyon trail. Our next design is named the summer mage, and because it's the summer event, I decided to include a few summary designs in today's video. Now this design is going to start off with the default aero mage wheels. They've got a beautiful design and they've got a whole host of colors that you can design a car around. Our decal of choice is going to be the Cobalt Breakout Western, and we're also adding a Cobalt Breakout into the mix. Our boost is going to be the Cloudburst Painted Saffron. It's got some nice yellows there, and also a little bit of green at the back. For the trail, we are going with the Laser Wave Painted Saffron. And finally, to finish things up, you can go with Pearlescent Paint Finishes, which is great to blend in all those colors together. Our third design in today's video is named Yopigo, and it's simply named after the person who designed it on our Discord server. The first item is going to be the black RLCS breakout decal, that's comboed with the orange finny wheels. Now Yopigo added a great addition of the brushed metal paint finish onto that decal, which matches up really nicely with the metal finish on the finny wheels. And if I'm not mistaken, that paint finish can be found in the Dominus DLC, which a lot of you guys probably have already. Our boost of choice is going to be the orange slash beam, which also has some nice additions of black which matches our design. And the final item is going to be the very cheap friction trail. Then we move on to the most expensive design in today's video, and that one's named Whiteout. It's going to start off with one of my favorite wheels in the game, the Grip Strides, and the Titanium White Special Edition of these runs for around 6 keys on Steam. We're then matching up the design of the grip strides with the very cheap Shibuya decal. Now for the paint finishes, we're going with the sun damaged paint finish on the primary, just so that we can have a very dark car, and that paint finish can be found in the Chaos Run DLC. To make our Shibuya decal pop, we're throwing an anodized onto the secondary, and on steam an anodized goes for around 1.5 keys. Our breakout of choice is going to be painted titanium white, even though it's titanium white, thankfully on steam it's still a pretty cheap pickup at around 1 key. For the boost, you've got a lot of options, but I like the look of the Titanium White Glitch at a price point of around 2 keys on Steam. The final pickup is going to be the Titanium White Hackswerve Trail, and that's a cheap addition at around 50 cents on Steam. Vector is the name of our next design, and it's named after its centerpiece, the Breakout Vector Decal. Now this is basically an extremely cheap black market decal for the Breakout, and it costs around 25 cents on Steam. I find dynamo wheels pair up very nicely with the design of the decal, so for the design we're going with some saffron dynamos. To go with all the lines in this design, we're picking up the saffron ion boost, and to close off the design, we are going with the saffron tachyon trail. The next design in today's video is named Sunrise. It's going to be starting out with the vice decal, which is a very popular summary decal for the breakout. For the wheels, I like the pairing of the saffron photons, and those go for around 2 keys on steam. Taking a look at the accessories, we're going for an orange breakout, and then we move on to the boost, which is a saffron enchanter. Final pickup's going to be the laser wave 3, and we're going for one painted orange. Our next design is named Flower Power. It's going to be starting out with the Breakout Hiwa, and we're focusing on the flowers of the design of this decal. If you're looking for some flower based wheels, the Kalos are a perfect fit, and we're going with some default ones in this design. For the accessories, we've got the pink Breakout, 
The boost is pink springtime flowers. And finally, a classic trail, which everyone has for free in their inventory. Now, the final addition you can look at is possibly throwing a pearlescent paint finish onto the primary of this design. Our next design is named Greenies. Now this one's gonna start off with the very interesting green Zomba wheels at a price point of around two keys on Steam. We're then going for the breakout Western decal once again. However, we're opting for an unpainted one in this design. Now I highly recommend a pearlescent paint finish here and the green on the very dark blue creates a very nice pop on this design. In terms of accessories, we're going with a forest green breakout. Our boost is gonna be the power shot painted forest green because it also seems to have a mix of blue in the design. The final pickup is gonna be the Tachyon Trail and we're grabbing one painted forest green. The final design in today's video is named The Comic. And I'm sure you can guess why it's named this because the design is centered around the breakout ripped comic. For a ripped comic design, I think Santa Fe wheels can fit nicely. We're going for once painted burnt sienna, which is quite uncommon but they do look very nice and more along the lines of an orange. Taking a look at the accessories, we are going with a titanium white breakout. For the boost, one of the best fits for a ripped comic design is the Toon Sketch. Wasn't a big fan of it in orange, so I instead decided to opt for one in titanium white, which is a bit expensive at around five keys on Steam. The final pickup for the trail is gonna be the Laser Wave, and we're going for one painted orange. Now that is going to be a wrap on today's nine beautiful breakout designs. I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments which you thought your favorite one was. As for what car we're going to do next week, the totally awesome crate is coming out on July the 1st. So I think next week's the perfect time to do the Fennec import car. But as always, my friends, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.